the question says that what is the what is the total number of factors of 882000 which have exactly 10 at the end which have exactly 10 at the end okay okay just try it guys try this question okay so i hope you have tried this question for at least 5 to 6 minutes if you have not solved it in the in the required time okay let's see this question Look at this question, guys. This question says that the total number of factors of eight lakh eighty two thousand, right? So basically, I should be knowing what is eight lakh eighty two thousand. You have to factorize it, right? So eight eighty two should be very fast with this two into four forty one. This is two into twenty one square. This is two into three is square into seven is square. And then we have further thousand. What is thousand, guys? It is two cube into five cube. So once you take what is this eight lakh eighty two thousand? So it is actually. Uh, 2 cube, so basically it should be 2 cube is here and 2 is here. Should be 2 raised to 4 into uh, 3 is square into into 3 is square into 5 cube into 7 is square. That is what that is. 8 lakh 82,000 in the uh, prime factorization form. Now basically what I know that we sh I should have exactly 10 at the end, right? So basically see how to how to handle such cases, right? So for this question actually what we can do. It's again, it's a very mistake-prone question. Actually, fine. So a lot of a lot of people will do mistakes in this question, right? So basically, I should think of the, some cases here, right? So like for case one. So basically, the idea behind such kind of question is, I can I should only make pairings of what exactly one two, exactly one two, and exactly one five to form exactly one zero, है ना? So we should have formed exactly one two and one five pairing for exactly one zero, right? So, but we we can have right. So obviously, but to limit it actually, so how how do we solve it actually, right? But we can get zero at the, in the multiple ways, no? Because let's say if I have five twos, for example, just right, or let's say four twos, and even if I have only one five, so if I multiply it, so I can form only one pair of two and five. It's only one zero, correct? Similarly, if I, let's say I if I have three fives, and if I have only one two, so again if I multiply this, I will only only one zero because I can make only one pairing. Right, so basically these cases will follow, है ना? So we can have multiple twos and single five. We can have multiple fives and single twos, right? So let's now once we have this idea, right? So let's now proceed with this question actually. फटा फट देखो. Learn these good concepts. Okay. Now, if I see this here, देखो. So basically what I can what I can see here now, this two raised to four three square. So basically in my first case what I'll take guys. So my first case will be I can have multiple multiple twos, right? So when when twos are many, let's say twos are multiple, right? And five is exactly one. This is one case, okay? When twos are multiple and five is exactly one. So how many how many factors we can form in such case, guys? So basically, when twos are multiple and five are exactly one, okay? So how many uh, cases we can form? So when that means I can from the twos bracket, I should choose multiple twos, right? So you should remember factors. Yad yad karo. Two raised to four it was. That was like its factors are two zero, two one, two square, two cube, and two raised to four. Correct. Now once these are the values here, so can I say that this two raised to four has got these five factors? But I have to pick at least one two, so I can pick four terms from this two's bracket. So from this two's bracket, I can pick four terms. From three's bracket, I can pick all the three terms: three raised to zero, three raised to one, and three raised to two. I can pick. All these three terms, right? Okay. From five brackets, I need exactly one five. So in five brackets, we have got actually four terms here: five zero, five raised to one, five square, five cube. I need in my case, I need exactly one five, right? So basically, I need only I can pick only one term from here, only one term. And from seven bracket now, I can pick any of the three terms. It doesn't affect my question because question is dependent dependent on only two and five, not on three and seven. So I can pick all the three terms, right? So basically, four into three into three, I can have total thirty-six terms. So basically, I can have thirty-six factors when we have multiple twos and exactly one five. What is this case, guys? I have many twos and exactly one five. Fine. Then we have got a case two here. Case two. 
in case two we can have multiple fives okay and exactly one two okay so in case two we'll have multiple fives and exactly one two multiple fives and exactly one two okay now while handling this case if i have if if i can pick, pick exactly one two that means from two's bracket i should pick exactly one two exactly one power of two so only one term i can pick from three's bracket i can pick any terms any number of terms i can pick all the three options i have from the five's bracket i can pick how many terms guys so basically five raised to one five raised square five cube hai na so i can pick again i can pick multiple fives but i can't pick five raised zero i have to have five here right so one two and three to make it pairing with five so i get three options actually and then in seven bracket again i got three options the total 27 terms right so hope all are all are getting this right the idea behind it right so what is what and what just understand it guys what are what is this 36 actually ha huh? what is this 36 this 36 is actually the there 36 such a uh, uh, basically factors right or 36 such uh, cases of combination of combination of factors where my numbers can number can my, my number can end in exactly 10 for example let me write such one case out of 36 right what i have done from the first bracket i took i told i have four options 1 2 3 4 from the first bracket let's say i pick 2 cube for example i pick 2 cube okay from second bracket i had three options i can pick any number let's say i pick 3 square from the third bracket or that is five's bracket i told i can pick only one term because in my case only one five i can take so only one five right and seven bracket let's say i pick seven for example i pick i can pick any one right so you can see it right it doesn't depend on these two terms actually 2 cube into 5 which is 40 now 40 into anything will end in 10 right in in my case 40 into 63 that is 63 into 4 is 250 that is 2520 that means 2520 is a factor of 882000 which ending in exactly 10 actually right so that's what i'm saying so how many such the like 2520 is one number so how many such numbers i can form i can form 36 such numbers 25320 is only one of such numbers among those 36 numbers i can have total 82 oh sorry uh, i can have total 36 such numbers right by picking different combinations here okay so i had basically i could pick four numbers from the first bracket out of these four i can pick any two so basically it depends whatever number of twos i pick 2 into 5 will always make only 10 ending the case of only 10 ending right similarly for this 5 also but but guys the question doesn't end here okay the question is actually uh in doing this you you must have noticed that right because we have repeated some cases here right basically those cases are double counted in this case also it is double counted when we have 1 2 and 1 5 and here also it is double counted when it is 1 1 2 and 1 5 so basically if i take case 3 here so in case 3 i can have this 2 2 2 here right so basically what i can do here uh when we have exactly 1 2 and exactly 1 5 so this case is double counted so how many in how many case we have exactly 1 2 and 1 5 so in two's bracket i can pick only one term exactly one power of 2 one term okay in uh then basically in uh 3 square right in three's bracket i can pick any term a number of terms three terms i can pick in five bracket again only one term that is 5 raised to 1 because i am solving this case of only 1 2 and 1 5 how many such numbers here three again one and then in this sign bracket again again put in three terms right basically nine terms so these nine numbers will be actually included in this also and will always be included in this also actually this nine is double counted right so basically so it basically means that 36 plus 27 minus 9 so 54 is the answer for this question again it's a beautiful question right very nice question logical question mistake prone question 63 would be the answer for most of the people right and uh, maybe any other, another answer but 63 is the most common answer for this question right so and this this question actually gives one gives you a good idea gives you a good a good gives you a good idea actually about those numbers uh, or so those kind of question basically you have to find such question which is uh, factors ending in 10 factors ending in 20s uh, factors ending in exactly 15 13 13 everywhere you can just apply the same idea right so you can just look for all those multiple combinations what are the restricting factors right okay you can all look for those combinations basically let's say for 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 a question if it has to end in 5 if it has to end in 5 can i say that let's say if any factor is ending in 5 so can i have combinations of 3 into 5 also ending in 
थ्री स्क्वायर इंटू फाइव ऑल्सो एंडिंग इन फाइव राइट थ्री क्यूब सो बेसिकली डिपेंड्स ऑन नंबर ऑफ फाइव है राइट सी फाइव शुड बी सिंगल ओके एज वेल एज फाइव कैन सो फाइव कैन मल्टीपल ऑल्सो लाइक फाइव स्क्वायर इंटू थ्री एंड ऑल ओके सो बेसिकली यू कैन अप्लाई दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ आइडिया इन एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ सच काइंड ओके चलो सो इट्स अ नाइस क्वेश्चन राइट गुड and also also this combat guys okay so this a uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so there easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo- moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like Away, uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT, so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level, right? But this from now onwards, the questions will be of higher, higher level, okay? And uh, all the LRD sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually, giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question. the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually the, those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, down from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 1 year subscription i think around 20000 Or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So, so, so great prizes are on offer here. Okay, so get it live from your mobile app. You just put in a uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda is ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday. Give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.